but bad news can come in batches. Within just days of Ricky's return from the India burial, there was a cyclone in India. Thousands of people killed. It's a big news story. And he said his mother, who was still in India, had been killed in that cyclone. And uh, we were devastated for him. It was oh, terrible. Yeah. Tragedy. This poor kid, he lost his dad and his mom in just a few weeks. It was the following spring, the first spring of a new millennium, a new life. Ricky and Sparkle made their relationship official. They got married. Well, we thought it would work, as long as they were both putting forth their best effort. Yes, and as the weeks floated happily by, they were always together. I never, ever could think of a time when, if they were more than a couple hours apart, that was strange. So there was simply no warning, no way to prepare for what happened next. April 26, 2000. Got a call from Rick, who said Sparkle's been attacked. He'd just come home and found her, he said. She heard, but his words didn't quite make sense. She ran to her car. And I remember driving thinking, attack. I mean, I'm thinking, we're going to take her to the hospital. She's going to be okay. I remember thinking, I'll take the baby. You know, we'll, we'll make sure everything's okay. There are times when a parent cannot make anything right. By the time Donna arrived at Sparkle's apartment, Sparkle's father was already there. And I kept asking, is she dead? Is she alive? What happened? Finally, someone would come down and tell me that she wasn't alive anymore. She was dead. Murdered. She'd been strangled and stabbed to death. Her six-month-old baby was unharmed, just a few feet away from Sparkle's body. As a reporter, I've covered homicide scenes. I've watched families fall apart. And it was surreal to be on the other end of it and dealing with just everything going on with that. What had happened? Who had done this? A detective named Lee Brown looked carefully at that horrific scene. Tomorrow is butter, and today's bread. Then you can't have tomorrow's flour. 